Welcome back, everybody, to A Younger View in Sports. This is my top 10 NFL teams after week 10 is done with. Now, let me just start off. This was a tough one because there are so many teams that could be in and there are so many teams that could not be in or shouldn't be in my top 10. Like Indianapolis hovering. Tennessee is hovering. Seattle is hovering right outside the top 10. Las Vegas is hovering outside the top 10. But these, these are the top 10 teams, in my opinion. There are so many teams that could be in. Uh, that Cardinals win really did screw it up. Speaking of that, Buffalo at 10. They outplayed Arizona, lost to DeAndre Hopkins, who is a god. Cardinals at 9. Andre Hopkins is a beast. I talked about in my top five wide receiver video. These two teams are very evenly matched. I think Buffalo's defense is a little bit better, except for a Hail Mary play. But, you know, uh, Buffalo outplayed them. They lost. So I think Arizona, Arizona is very inconsistent. Buffalo also very inconsistent. Both Josh Allen and Kyler Murray played out of their minds. I'd take Buffalo's defense over Arizona. But I got to put them ahead of them because they just beat them at home. Number eight is the Los Angeles Rams coming in. They just beat the Seattle Seahawks. Um, Seattle is... Their defense sucks. Russell Wilson got hit a lot. And that's just a lot. They Jared Goff did just enough. They beat them by seven, six points. <laughs> beat them by, like, oh, less than a touchdown. One score game. Jared Goff did just enough. And then the Rams defense came in and really showed up. They ran the ball very well. The defense played very well, and they're not as reliant on Jared Goff as most of these teams are. Dolphins at eight. Miami Dolphins at seven. Rams at eight. Uh, what can I say? Probably should have been in last week. They just beat Justin Herbert and the Chargers. Uh, this is a three-sided, very well-coached team. Special teams playing out of their mind. Defense playing out of their mind. Offense. Tua is doing a lot. He, Tua is playing very, very well with this team. Oh, and of course, you know, Brian Flores is one of the best head coaches ever. He, not ever yet, but he's getting there. He's a very good coach. I, in my opinion, he should be coach of the year because why, sh why not? Like, look what this team has done. Nobody expected Tua to come out here. He is 3-0. and They're 6-3. and They're making the playoffs. I saw them win with Fitzpatrick. I'm seeing them win with Tua. That defense only gets better. And special teams, it's probably one of the better special teams in the league. So, yeah. I had Miami going 7 and 9. Right now they're looking like a 9 7 10 6 playoff team. Very well done Miami and shoot they could even win this division if Buffalo keeps losing. That's right. If you told me last year, 2019, like Miami's going to win the division next year. I would have called you crazy, but Miami and Brian Flores coaching out of his mind, two is playing out of his mind. All everything is clicking right now for the Miami Dolphins. Let's talk about a team who really isn't clicking. It is the Baltimore Ravens. Now, yeah, they played Bill Belichick in a monsoon. It was so rainy, you couldn't see anything. Lamar Jackson could just run. Well, Lamar Jackson, yeah, yeah. is he a throw? Can he throw the ball? No, once you contain Lamar Jackson, Bill Belichick played that very well against him. He rushed two and made everybody drop back and made Lamar run. Now, Lamar still made plays, but I'm just going to move the Ravens back a little bit. They could make the playoffs. They got a very interesting matchup going with Pittsburgh, and they got Cleveland again, which I think they'll win both of those. But as of right now, they're going to stay at six. So we're outside. They're six and three. They lost to a good Steelers team. Uh, the Patriots aren't laying down yet. If you ever count out the Patriots, that's your loss. But they're six and three. I do think they can bounce back, but I that offense really does need some work. Uh, speaking of offenses, that is hurt. Number five, the New Orleans Saints. Uh, yeah, Drew Brees is down, so I'm going to leave them at five now. Last year, though, they did go undefeated without Drew Brees, and I do think they can do it again with Jameis Winston. But are we sure? Can Jameis Winston revive his career like Teddy Bridgewater didn't go get, got signed by the Carolina Panthers? Could famous Jameis find himself on a team? You know, who knows? The Bears could use him. They could really use him. But I'm just going to leave them here at five. They could be higher. They could be lower. Uh, Drew Brees collapsed long. Prayers up for him. Hopefully, I have speed recovery. This could be it for Drew Brees. How is the future going to look? Are they going to roll with Taysom Hill? Jamison doing good? Or is Jameis doing good? They could very well lose this division. And they probably are. You know, I mean, you got to. We'll see what Winston can do. But you have Sean Payton calling the plays. And that defense is stepping up. Like we saw a mess earlier in the year. They're playing very well. Now, so I'm just going to leave them there. Five questions about the New Orleans Saints.
Number four, Green Bay Packers. I'm going to, you know, keep them here at four. They could have moved up, could have moved down, but it was a very close win against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, yeah, not, it's one and eight. You know, any game, any game is winnable. In the NFL, hey, Jacksonville's playing tough. Uh, Rodgers with an interception. He had a rushing touchdown. That was a sneaky athleticism out of him. It is a rough, it was a rough win. Uh, it was a lot closer than most people should have thought it been. But, uh, you know, that's what Green Bay did all last year. Ugly wins against teams they should have blown out. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what we can do against Chicago coming up. That's a big division matchup. And, yeah, so we'll just see what Green Bay can do. Uh, up next, number three, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, got embarrassed on Saturday Night Football and then blew out the Carolina Panthers. Ronald Jones set a franchise record. Tom Brady looked very good. Gronkowski got involved, saved my fantasy team. Defense looked very impressive, too, because, you know, Panthers offense, Panthers aren't lying down. You know, they're the best bad team. And, yeah, I think Tom Brady came out there and said, everybody has a tough loss. Look at what we did to Green Bay. Look what we lost twice to the Saints. Fine, fine. A divisional match is fine. Uh, we'll just go step on the Carolina Panthers' throats. And that's what they did. Dominant win for Tampa. I think they really needed it. Uh, number two is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Of course, nothing as much is going to change there. They might lose. Uh, Pittsburgh, I'm sorry. I'll have an apology video coming out for you guys here soon. You're 9 0. You dominated the Bengals. You usually play down to the competition, but this time you really stepped up against Cincinnati. A tough rivalry between those two. Uh, I remember some recent me memories over the years with AB and Vontez Perfect. You know, tough. 2015 playoff game. These two, it's just a fun matchup to watch between you know Pittsburgh and Cincinnati, Pittsburgh and Baltimore too. And yeah, they stepped up and they dominated Joe Burrow. This defense is legit. Big Ben looks legit. Steelers at two, and the Chiefs. They took a. They were on a bye week this week. Not much to say about them besides who's gonna stop them. I don't know. They're gonna remain number one until they lose. And the one team that did stop them, Las Vegas. That's why I like them so much. But didn't put them on my top ten. Buffalo, 10, Arizona, 9, LA, 8, Miami, 7, Baltimore, 6, New Orleans, 5, Green Bay, 4, Tampa Bay, 3, Pittsburgh, 2, and Kansas City, 1. Thank you for listening.